Congratulations to the Boston Celtics on making it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Guess what your prize is? You get to go against LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yay! So now both Conference Finals are set. You have Boston and Cleveland. And then the the Conference Finals matchup job that I've been looking forward to all season long and hoping it would be with all the trash talking back with all the chatter of Golden yeah, it's Houston Golden State Golden State saying on one side that they're not paying any attention to Houston and only focus on winning NBA championships Houston on the other side saying this team is built specifically to come after Golden State. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Now, Boston Golden or Boston Cleveland. This match I'm excited for this matchup. But to me, it's not as exciting of a series as it could could have been if Kyrie Irving didn't get injured and didn't have to get the surgery again. Because think about it. I would act, if Boston had Kyrie Irving, it would honestly make, as a Cavaliers fan, I would personally be nervous about that matchup. And I might have, would have given the slight, slightest of edges, maybe that much of an edge to the Boston Celtics. But Kyrie's not playing for the Celtics. Yes, the Celtics have Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Terry Rozier, and Al Horford. And they're all good players. Al Horford's an all-star. But they just don't have... It just doesn't have the same sort of appeal as an Eastern Conference Finals matchup of these two teams would be if Kyrie was playing. So, I'm... As I expect this series between the Celtics and Cavaliers to go... Six, maybe seven. Obviously, I've got the Cavaliers coming out on top. But I honestly have no idea what to expect with this Rockets um, Warriors matchup. I'm hoping it goes the full seven games. You got Chris Paul and James Harden on one side, and Trevor and Trevor Ariza and Eric Gordon going against. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Draymond, Drama Queen Green. Yes, he is a drama queen. Don't. That's just my opinion. You're allowed to disagree. But the X factor in this matchup for of Golden State Houston is Clint Capella. Because here's the thing. Capella, and they've said this on NBA TV. And ESPN. Capella stays on the court. As the big man for Houston. Golden State's centers come off the floor. When they go to that infamous small small ball lineup. So that's going to give Houston the mat. The, the, um, the mat. The, the matchup on the inside. But can, the key will be. If Houston gets that matchup, can they exploit it and use it to their advantage? Or will they miss that opportunity? Also, how is Houston... Will Houston switch and put, put Chris Paul on Kevin Durant? Or will will they put Chris Paul on, on Clay Thompson? There's just so many questions to this series. Now, back on the Boston-Cleveland side... There are also questions like, how the heck is Boston going to slow down LeBron? Especially if if Tristan Thompson and Kevin Love actually step up and help out. Because again, this series would be is a, an exciting series, and it's going to be. I expect the series to go five or six games, maybe seven. But it just doesn't have that umph like Houston Golden State does. It would be on the same playing field if Kyrie Irving was playing. 
but he's not. So, I'm yes, as a Cavaliers fan, I'm excited for Boston against Cleveland. But as an NBA fan, I am freaking... I want it to be Sunday so that the conference finals can be get underway. And the key for both Boston and Houston is that these two teams have home court advantage. Now, for Boston, that might not might not mean as much since they're playing the Cavaliers and LeBron James and the and get and the gang. But for Houston, that could be make all the difference. Think about this. Who had home court advantage in 2017, 16, and 15? Golden State. 2016, when Golden State came back from a 3-1 deficit against Oklahoma City. Who had, where was Game 7? Oracle Arena in Golden State. That would not be the case if the series goes 7. Game 7 would be in Houston. So, home court advantage being in Houston's favor could prove to be the difference. I'm excited for these conference finals. I wish Kyrie Irving was playing because these two conference finals would be on the same playing field. But being that they're not, I gotta give the edge to Golden State Houston. Because as I said, Houston has been eyeing Golden State the entire year saying... We're good. We've built this team to beat Golden State. Whereas he, Golden State on the other side is saying, we don't care. We're not. We don't care about Houston. We just want to win championships. Something's going to have to give. What will it be? I don't know. So, the conference final set, matchups are set. Once again, it is Golden State Houston. Cleveland, Boston, thanks to Boston's 114-112 victory in Game 5 tonight against Philadelphia. And I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron were to leave Cleveland, if, that's a big if, if the Eastern Conference Finals matchup is possibly Boston-Philadelphia. It could happen. So, until next time, this is Unger to the Max, signing off. Salute, go Cavs, go Jackets, go, go Browns, and go Jags.